uh, I'm Jordan Mullins. Uh, that song was called Funhouse Frenzy. Uh, it was styled after Raymond Scott. First, uh, first term of fourth year to look at a composer and make a song styled after him. I chose Raymond Scott. His music was used for Looney Tunes. It's like fast, goofy jazz, which I really like. Uh, next one is called Imperfect Fourths. I wrote this one out of spite when I heard someone talk about how they think perfect fourths sound like nice or something like that, and I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> and uh, the motif I wrote like years ago, and then uh, in third year well, with serialism, they talk about like uh, messing with motifs and how to make uh, different versions of uh, uh, the same motif, and that's what this is. I don't need to get to the laptop.
Uh, so, after writing a bunch of ominous, spooky tunes like that, I wanted to make a really happy one. Uh, so this is a song about a butterfly uh, breaking out of its cocoon at the start, uh, flying around, and it's just nice and happy. I call it happy butterfly music, which is the uh, style it's called on the score. Uh, this one will have uh, K and T, as well as Aaron on drums. All right, thank you, Kay. Uh, oh, that's much better. 
this next one is for a string quartet, which uh, is made entirely digitally, because I am a composer that is also Pro Tools certified. Uh, it's called Water on a Tin Roof. Uh, it's made that uh, as if you're in a shed and you can hear water hitting like the uh, metal roof, like those little wavy roofs, if you've ever seen them. Uh, all the different types of precipitation that uh, showed up on the Wikipedia search. Uh, first is drizzle, then hail, rain, sleet, cloudburst, then snow. And it's very windy with snow. It ends up uh, caving the shed in at the end. Uh,
Thank you. Uh, this next one, Phrygian. Uh, it's with Tay again, Liam again on trumpet, as well as for the first time during this set, Eric on bass. And uh, this one, it's like, uh, I think it was the modal jazz from the first comp, I don't know, year two term, term two or term one? Last of term one or the first of term two? Whatever it was, it was modal jazz. And that's what this is. Uh, it, it's in Phrygian mode mostly, hence the title.
you. Thank you to uh, Liam and Tay for agreeing to solo on a mixing meter, mixed tempo, just kind of a challenging song to play over. So big thank you to them as well as Eric and Aaron. Uh, this next one, it's a uh, all the sounds are generated from a bass, a uh, solo bass, so I just called it solo. Uh, well, I guess we can demonstrate some of the songs, it's, uh, some of the sounds made first. Uh, for those reading with the score, the first page up to everything before section A will be skipped for time.
Okay, this uh, last one is called Funk Terror. It's a uh, horror funk, uh, one of my preferred genres. Uh, j joining us again will be Aiden and Aaron. I'm gonna grab a guitar.
I'd like to first thank Justin for letting me use his guitar, as well as, uh, uh, I, I guess, Kent and Emily for uh, teaching me how to actually write stuff that people would want to listen to. Uh, Aaron again, again, Aiden on the sax. Oh, Eric on the drum, or no, Aaron on the drums, Eric on the bass, and Aiden on the sax. I, I'm the first syllable for, uh, uh. Anyway, uh, just thanks to everyone. Uh, that's my grad recital. I'm doing the best I can. Hello. Welcome to my graduation recital. My name is Navin Forsyth. On stage with us right now, we have Jacob, Josh, Karen, and Evan. And the first piece we're going to be playing for you tonight uh, was written during the Nocturne unit of my composition degree. It is entitled Flight into the Word Wordless, a reference uh, to a short Walt Whitman poem called A Clear Midnight. This is thy hour, O soul thy free flight into the wordless. Away from books, away from art, the day erased, the lesson done. The fully forth emerging, silent, gazing, pondering the themes thou lovest best. Night, sleep, death, and the stars.
this next piece, I would like to invite Melissa and Gabe up onto the stage. This uh, next chamber piece was written for my uh, Composition 5 capstone uh, just last semester and has gone through uh, quite a few changes uh, to arrive at this final point. It is entitled Nowhere's Home.
All right. So uh, for this next piece, I'd like to say uh, goodbye to my three string players, Karen on violin, Melissa on cello, and Evan on upright bass, and bring in something a bit more electronic. I'd like to welcome Dane and Maya as our two vocalists. Once again, we have Gabe. Bring now in James on drums and Aaron on percussion. Uh, this piece, inspired by a poem of the same name by Walt Curtis, is entitled The Crab Man. He'll drag you down, he'll drag you down. But the crab man loves you, the crab man loves you. But he'll drag you down, bring you down into the deep. He'll hold you close till you cannot breathe. And now, because this is a jazz school after all, uh, we're going to have a couple jazz tunes. So I'd like to invite Jacob back on stage and fill out our 
current rhythm section of one with, if you're staying on guitar, Tay on piano, and Tillman on bass. And then after this piece, I'd like to invite my entire saxophone section up uh, for another tune. But first, this is So Square, It's Q. All right, now this next tune, entitled Zetsama Alps, is going to feature, I'm gonna, I'll give you back your mic soon, Josh. We've got Mika on alto, Josh on alto, Skylar on tenor, Jacob on tenor, Aiden on Barry, the rhythm section I've already introduced,
Bible, isn't that just fantastic? Uh, so, before we get to the final piece on my uh, recital, uh, I'd just like to say uh, a couple thank yous. I'd like to, once again, uh, even though it is difficult to see as there are stage lights in my eyes and I can't actually look you in the eyes, I'd like to thank uh, everyone who's, uh, who helped me make this happen and played on my recital, uh, gave me feedback on what was actually playable as opposed to what just sounded good when played by a computer. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Kent and uh, Emily for teaching me how to do this and for setting me deadlines so I actually got stuff done. Uh, I would like to uh, quickly thank uh, my parents, who better be watching on stream right now, uh, for <laughs> encouraging me uh, and give, giving me all the, all the support that I needed to be able to do this. Uh, and my uh, two uh, high school guitar teachers, uh, Paul Madriga and Keith Price, for uh, instilling this love in me and for uh, making me good enough to be able to get into the school, to be able to stand here on stage and thank you. Uh, this last tune, bringing back uh, Dane for one more vocal number, uh, it was written uh, over, the, over the summer uh, while I was uh, unemployed and spending quite a bit of time uh, on, on Facebook and learning the way, and uh, learning firsthand the way that uh, a lot of social media like that uh, focuses you down onto things that instill heavy emotion and negative emotions. Uh, and that will be explained by giving Facebook a voice. Show me what keeps you up at night. Feed me that shame. Show me what scares and reviles you. I swear I feel the same. I'll show you why you are enlightened and those who are the same. I'll keep you safe from the horrors around you and the ones to blame. everything to be simple and I know you want easy answers don't you let me help you I am the only thing you need I can show you what's right and what's wrong promise you I'll have it all taken care of there's just one thing I need from you for you to show me what disturbs enrages and terrifies you feed me show me what is deep inside your mind what do you rather hide trust me to show you what is right and what is wrong Why would I lie? Believe me, I am all you need within this world I'll guide your sight Render unto me The deepest, darkest depths of your humanity
set out on the path I laid before you Rage and fight against the horrors placed before you Then my grip around the world will increase Our intentions will be one if you submit to me Thank you.